Good evening everyone, Patrick here. I just wanted to jump on and talk to you guys a little bit about vegan meringues and egg substitutes. Alright, so I'm going to get started, see if, how many people are going to pop on and everything. I'll listen to my little spiel about meringues and vegan meringues and things like that tonight. Alright, so I am going to be, I've been playing around with my favorite new vegan meringue substitute. So meaning that anything that calls for meringue or beaded egg whites, uh, you're basically going to get out of this is these are called flax whites right here. Hold on, let me show you this. These are flax whites, okay? You know what, I'm at home. These are called flax whites, okay? They look just like egg whites, okay? Basically, they look just like egg whites, okay? When you beat these up, you're basically gonna get a meringue. Okay, so right now I have starting to be a st very, very, very soft peak flax meringue, okay? A f this meringue can be substituted for anywhere it calls for egg whites in a recipe now. Okay, you know how I got that? I took golden flax seeds whole, okay? And I took two thirds of a cup of golden flax seeds to six cups of hot, hot water, okay? I put it in a sauce pot and I boiled it, okay? You are gonna boil it for about 45 minutes to an hour, okay? And what you're gonna get is almost a very thick, thick gelatinous, basically, egg whites, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to let it boil. Boil, 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 boil. How are Hi, Stacy. Um, you're going to let it boil, okay? Come to a rolling boil. These are golden flax seeds. I highly recommend you guys buying golden flax seeds, okay? When you do this, you can buy the regular black flax seeds and things like that, and you're just not going to get this color. You're not going to get what I call this egg whites. These are basically look like egg whites. So anywhere a recipe calls for an egg, you're going to sorry, substitute basically one fourth a cup of this to any recipe. So if I'm making muffins, say cakes, say cupcakes, I make cupcakes today. I basically substituted this for all my eggs, okay? So, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take two-thirds of a cup of this. This is golden flaxseed, okay? You can buy it online. They sell it at the grocery store. If you have a nut allergy, I don't recommend you buying Bob's Mill products, okay? They're processed in a plant that is not nut-friendly, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take two-thirds of a cup of flax seeds. You're going to take six cups of warm water. You're going to place it in a sauce pot and then you're going to boil it. I mean boil it. You're going to basically let it go for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay? You cannot use these right away because they need to cool and start to gelatinize like this, okay? So you can get the egg whites portion of what we call vegan egg whites in bacon. Baking, okay? So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna boil that mixture. Then what you're gonna do is gonna get a, like a colander or a strainer. My dog's in the background if you can hear her. She just got home from being on vacation. Um, so you're gonna get a bowl and then you're going to take the hot, hot mixture, you're going to pour it in. You want to let that mixture sit over the strainer so all the, basically the flax seeds are going to go into the strainer. And this mixture is going to be pretty thick when you pour it in. And you're going to let that sit for 30 minutes after you've done this, okay? So the mixture is really hot at this point. What you're going to do 
And now is you're gonna let that cool for about two hours or so. Once it cooled, you're gonna put it in like a Tupperware container. I put it in one of these, like an all a glad container, anything you have around the house basically. Gonna let it sit overnight. You need these cold, 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 cold. So once they are cold, 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 they are gonna start to whip up like flax whites, okay? Look at this. This is basically flax whites, okay? I would recommend really straining it because if you don't strain it, you are gonna get seeds. And when you go to whip these, you are going to basically not like the texture. I've tried it both ways. I basically, you can do it either way depending. Um, you can also make this with ground flax seeds. Um, I boiled ground flax seeds before and it came out the same way and you can do it that way. That is fine. But I highly recommend you buying golden flax seeds. Okay? So basically what you're going to do. So this mixture was sitting, was basically, look at that. This is basically starting to whip up like a meringue. Okay? So what I did is I took about a half a cup of eggs, egg whites, or flax whites as we're vegan baking. So this is basically vegan egg whites right now to sugar. Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna wash my hands for a minute. So what you're gonna do is, so say you have, I use regular sugar and I also use some other products. For sugar-free baking, I just started to really like Swirl. Swerve, I think it is called. I don't get paid for these products, FYI. Um, I like it. Naomi Poe actually told me to try this for my baking, and I really do like it a lot. Um, and then Xylitol. A lot of people use this for sugar-free baking, okay? So xylitol, they're all different ratios when you do substituting for cup for cup for sugar, okay? If you have any questions, put them on the bottom and I will answer them at the end of the video, I promise you, okay? So let's talk about this. So, if we, so if you want to make something with egg whites and you have an egg white allergy and you can't use it, okay? So let's talk about those lovely French macarons. French macarons, you can make this recipe. You can use the same proportions of flax whites, whip up your meringue and everything, do the same base recipe, but you're gonna use this, okay? Then what you also, I do, is I make buttercream. Hold on, I'm gonna run and grab my buttercream. I make buttercream for my vegan cupcakes this week. And I made an it I made a an Italian meringue buttercream, okay? So this buttercream is basically a vegan buttercream, okay? This can go wherever you want to use frosting, okay? This is amazing stuff, okay? So you follow the same recipe that you use for a Swiss or an Italian meringue but you use flax whites in place, okay? I have not tried sponge cakes, chiffon cakes, any cake baking yet with these. I'm hoping to do that in the next couple of weeks with all this, um, but my guess is probably it's gonna work really well. I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks to post an angel food cake recipe if it comes out right and everything. So. Roughly, this would take 25 minutes, okay, to beat up. Um, flax whites, you want to get, it basically goes on high speed for about half hour, depending on your mixer, okay? And if you have a colder, so see this? So right now, I would say they're not peaking yet. So they would be roughly, this would maybe be a, a soft peak right now. So this is about a soft peak, okay, for egg whites, or vegan whites, okay? So all this 
can be substitute in baking, okay? You can also use these vegan flax wipes and cookies, cupcakes. You can use it in bread baking. Baking, sorry, can't talk tonight. You can use it anywhere that eggs are called for in a recipe, you can use these, okay? You basically are gonna just substitute it out. So you're gonna take, whoops, sorry. You're gonna take a fourth a cup of your, wh your whites or your egg substitute, okay? And you're gonna place this. So I recommend when you ba vegan bake, for cakes, cupcakes, anything like that, anything that also has like a milk, like a dairy-free milk or anything dairy-free, you basically want to add the flax white mixture into your wet ingredients, okay? It really helps. Yeah, basically tasteless. Um, the golden flax seeds I like because they have a better taste. You can actually make this with chia seeds. I call it chia, chia gel, basically. And it's the same proportions. You boil them with the chia seeds. You boil it, you boil it, you boil it, you let it sit. But that is really expensive. Really expensive. Um, not a lot of people are going to have that. But if you add your sugar, your vanilla, all your flavorings in it, you won't taste the difference. I have not tasted this difference. People that I made vegan baking for have not tasted the difference in any of my stuff for egg free. I did cupcakes for a wedding months ago and people didn't even know the difference and they were all made with flax eggs. Um, because I really like the flax eggs right now. Um, there is tons and tons of um, different ratios and everything. Naomi Poe of BetterBatter.org or Naomi's Allergy Free Kitchen on YouTube. She has an amazing video, and I will link it to this post somehow, on how to make a, an egg substitute one for one with vegan, and it works amazingly. I use it a lot um, for my cupcakes, my cakes, and cookies. Um, but I really love doing this. This is what I like to do for my vegan meringues and stuff like that. It also, my dog is kind of crazy right now. She hasn't been home for a while. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is life. This is actually life in Patrick's house. Um, I could be baking at midnight. I've been up since 3 o'clock in the morning because I had a snow day from work um, baking. Um, but... If anyone else has any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I am here to help you guys along the way. Um, I'm right now actually in the middle least. Leaving Friday, I am actually going off to Pennsylvania for a couple days to go work with my editor for my cookbook. I'm very excited. So, I have a lot going on right now. I just wanted to pop on, show you guys this and everything. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Happy baking, and have a wonderful evening. Love you guys. Bye.